Hey you craptastic SOBs, this is Gibmaker and I'm playing Well that's it. Energy already over. That was it. Whoa, we need a lot of stuff. That was fast. I exhausted my energy fast this time around. I gotta reach over there for my notebook. And I knocked things on the ground. But with my uh, mic set on, I can't reach to the ground to pick up the stuff, so I guess it's just going to form a dirty pile. And I'm just going to write down what the requirements are here. Self-esteem 4, confidence 5, psyche 5, vigor 3, Motivation 6, Obedience 3. Bori has enough self-esteem, enough confidence, enough psyche, enough vigor, and enough obedience. He's just missing two motivation. So I think we can we can get all up in this one at some point in this episode. Use a defusal kit? You bet! I got some orbs! More orbs! Hey, wait a minute! I already have a whole bunch of uneaten slime food. What do I need? Motivation? I have merely one. I just need one more soft hazelnut. Wish I had some... hazelnuts to... Just magically cause the motivation. That would be great. Today I'm drinking a Frankenstein's monster of a beverage, which is half Chardonnay and half cheap convenience store peach nectar whatever the hell it actually is obviously nothing to do with peaches it's just corn syrup and tap water pretty good and now orbs Oh, interesting. Okay. Dick, you need help with your attack. And who needs defense help? Still you, Sirocco. You are puny. Don't look at me like that. Okay, I just want to make sure of something. Who's in the party? Okay, yep, that's what I want. That's what I want for now. It's not a particularly powerful build, but that's okay. What I want to do is just get Joseph and Dick caught up with the rest of the team. Oh! I thought there was more slime food than that. It's just... I hadn't pulled it out of that used mattress yet. Okay. So now Buri's motivation ought to be such that he's ready to go in the slime portal. Do it! Yay, Buri! Go, go, go! Bushido armor! An addle-addle! Check the fridge! Who equips the addle-addle? Whoa! A very powerful material! I think we've already got all the golden plate we can handle. 
So who uses the Adaladl? Oh, but it's worse. That's too bad. It does inflict all these statuses, though. Is that worth it? Is it worth the trade-off? Yeah, let's do it. Well, but I mean, how often do I attack with Chinook, though? Oh well, he's out of the party. I'm not going to be attacking with him at all. Okay, we still have the rest of that food. Buri, you have a lot to eat. Better get that mouth all watered up. Mm-mm. And I will water my mouth with Chardonnay, convenience store peach nectar, and tap water. Best ever! Okay, now we are seriously done with these. Who are you? Good to see you're all right. You guys looked in poor condition. At least most of you did. What do you have to say to Buri? Hey there, you want to be my pet? Slimes are getting pretty popular around here. Let's move on. I'm glad we're getting people in to help us defend ourselves against the factions, but I fear we don't have enough resources at the moment. At least we have enough food to keep the soldiers well fed. Is this person's name Love? Just having people go out and hunt for their own bugs is impractical these days. Who names their kid Love? Millennial parents, that's who. Yo, Dick. Dick? He's fast asleep, it looks like. Let's go straight to forcibly bump into him. What the hell? Shade! Are you out of your damn mind? I'm already aching like no tomorrow over here. Sorry, but I figured that'd be the best way to get your stubborn butt out of a nice warm bed. Well, it worked, so screw you! Whoa now, chill, dick. Take it easy. What do you want, anyway? Is that a trick question? Look, we just flew over a damn ocean for like several hours at least. Can't I have a little nap? Well, thing is, I'm not sure if we have taken a little nap. We have to go and find the others and figure out what we have to do next. You realize it's pretty important we get on this, considering the time it took for us to get here. Alright, fine. But if I randomly collapse, just remember it's your fault. Okay, got it. Odd that I was able to assemble the party anyways. Middle door first. Chest with juicy mosquitoes. Marina. Marina, she's sleeping soundly. Let's also be aggressive with Marina. Marina, wake up! Holy cow! I'm up, I'm up! Jeez, did you have to shout at the top of your lungs like that? Eh heh, sorry, I couldn't resist. I can't remember when I passed out. Are we in stone hold? I think we are. And don't worry, I kinda passed out too. That was a pretty rough flight, but I think we all made it through safely. Yeah, it was a tough one. Hee hee! Dick was complaining most of the way, I think. What? She's right, you know. You weren't even carrying anything and you were still griping. 
Oh, don't get on me now. My wings are still sore from that crap. You'll live, baby. <coughs> hey, I'm not the one they call runt here. Don't even start with that hot head hair or bringing up the old grievances. Well, I think I'm in good shape now. I really needed that rest. Let's go. It is time to search for Joseph, Chinook, and Sirocco now. You know, they say you should never bring up old grievances in a fight. But the fact is, the reason they are old grievances is because they're not old. They are still current. They reflect attitudes and patterns that are still present and just getting worse. Okay. I did that by accident. A keypad is on this door. Um, I will guess the code. Let's say... 7... 1... 4... 6. No, that was the right code shade. You just don't know how to use a door. It's a slime! Glip glork glock! Hey there, pal! What's up? How do you like my slime pet? He's pretty cute! If I do say so myself. Ahem! She's a girl! Oh, my bad. It's kinda hard to tell. Her name is Priscilla. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Priscilla. Hey, she likes you. Did you know that slimes are becoming more popular over here? Man, I love my Priscilla so much. I can't imagine how my life would have turned out without a companion like her. I've got some errands to run, and as much as I'd love to take her out on a walk, I have some business to attend to. I can tell she is really itching to go outside, but she's a little afraid if she has no one to head out with her. Yeah. Maybe there's a secret side quest. Howdy! Hello! Do you happen to know how long we've been asleep here? You've been booked in several diddly hours ago, friendo. Really? Holy crap, that added on to how long it took us to fly here. Could have really mucked things up for us. Come on, guys, now we've really got to hurry and find the others. Who's this? As much as I want to win this battle, I can't support any harm done to our forests. Chapterks. Set. In stone. This music reminds me... Then I went ahead and used special salts of mine to ensure you all remain in a deep, healing slumber as your muscles succumb to my herbal supplements. Wow, look at that grin on Chinook's face. I think his muscles weren't the only thing that succumbed to... Very interesting. That was some real work you pulled off on us. I don't think even the Hospibat can compete with that. Man, Hospibat is just getting thrown under the bus in this game. Not only is he completely worthless because you can heal for free at blue spots, and now we got this girl muscling in, or guy. I don't know. No need to flatter me. It was only a little fatigue, that's all. You guys recovered faster than I thought you would. Shade Silverwing, you've finally woken up all chipper-like. Heh, <laughs> I wouldn't say chipper, but it's great to see you again, Jurek. Same. You guys appear to have gone through a heck of a flight to get over here. Man, tell me about it. I assume you guys won't be here for very long. 
I'm really not sure. I'd love to stay for a bit, but someone is probably after us by now. May I ask who this someone is? Okay, I understand. It's private. It's a uh, goth. Well, you, you just said you didn't have to tell him. That's rough. I thought we took care of that creepy guy. It wasn't enough, apparently. You gotta keep the double tap rule in mind, my friend. Double tap? Make him deader than dead, Shade. Jeez, how do you not know that? Eh <laughs> yeah. Just make sure they're dead, basically. Well, gee, thanks for the retrospect. So, he's after you, huh? Maybe you should not stay here then. Unfortunately, we have some issues of our own right now. Telling from all the Order of Sound guys here, I'd assume so. What's up? It's the Owls! They came out of nowhere and took over the Richwood Forest. We've never heard of them attacking anyone for decades, so this was very unexpected. Unfortunately, ever since our attack on the Zenos, we might as well anticipate anything from them. Yeah, you're right! But still, we're very lucky to have received help from anyone at this time. Both the Order of Sound and the Cannon Guild are supplying us with personnel, as well as various goods. Now, I'm not sure about the details of this whole thing, but Crete would be better at giving you the gist of things. Wow, Crete's still here? He sure is. He was out surveying the situation at the entrance of the Richwood Forest, where some of the soldiers are currently holding up. I think he may be back by now. Check out his headquarters. Do you recall where that is? Not really. Could you remind me? He should be in the small building just southwest of here. All right, I got it. Excellent. And hey, if you need healing, come on over. I've got some sweet deals for you and your crew only. That sounds great. We'll be sure to visit you again sometime. I won't be very far off. See you when I see you. All right, sluts are back within the team. Jurek suggests we head over and speak to Creed about the situation with the owls. He should be southwest of Jurek's clinic in a small building. See what this bitch says. We've been discovered new ways to repair your aching muscles. I call it healing with extra benefits. Remember, my healing will have a slight discount just because you're my bud. Bup. Oh. Let's do it. I win! Okay, now all the bitches have Restora. I guess that'll carry over into battle. Well, it better, because it'd be pretty stupid if it didn't. After the attack at Physican, I just knew things were going to get worse from there. Oh, I hate remembering to turn off notifications. I know we are quite used to being out at night, but so many people don't focus on what makes it so great. Hey there, do you think you'd lend us a hand? Here comes a side quest. See, we don't have very many people to give up at the moment for this specific task. All that has to be done is finding some new firewood in the Richwood Forest, finding torches in the perimeter that are unlit, and replacing the firewood. After that, if you have the means to do it, lighting the torches would be very much appreciated, but not necessary. Tanks again! I heard that there's some secret cavern around here, but I'm not sure. Uh, found it. Oh, this. guess this isn't the secret cavern. What's going on here? You did great, Shade. Thanks for the aid. Hey, that's Crete. And he's talking as though I've already done something. I have a feeling this is broken. Okay, I'm just gonna back out of there. I kind of sense that that cave is not supposed to be open yet. That aroma! Take it all in! Uh, let's start carrying 20 juicy beetles. And 20 juicy mosquitoes, we already have 20. 15 tiger moths, let's say 10 super tiger moths. What else do you have? Angel feathers, 10 of those, that ought to be fine. 
Everything else is pretty much good. We need a few of the kits we got. Let's carry five of those. Whirligig potions. I recall a couple times I kind of wished that I had one of these, but I didn't. Okay, that's all the money I should waste on items. So there's still weapons and armor. If they have anything, I want to... I want to get it. This building is off limits. Even with Crete, I don't think Stonehold would have lasted a second against any adversary. Hey there, it's good to see you guys are alright. You looked horrible when you flew into our docks. If you need directions, head over to Jureka Cree. Just keep in mind that some areas around here are restricted thanks to hostile factions. Good to see you guys healthy again. You really took us by surprise when you came in. Stay for as long as you wish. If you have any questions, Jurek or Crete will be able to help you out. Can I light this? I cannot. Sad. Oh, we have the pub. Gloop, glop, plop, plop, doop, plop. This restaurant is just too cozy. My wife is an amazing cook. You'll enjoy your food or else? No. Not spending any more money until I check out the weapons that are available. But uh, Who's that? No need to go up here right now. Ah, oh, get out of the way. I guess I have to find firewood before those will work. Hmm, I wonder if I can already leave the town. I can leave the town! What well, those people say? They don't say anything. Oh, here's people who stop you. It's suspected the path to Treehaven has been taken over. I've been hearing things about there being owls close by, but I have faith in Jurek and Crete. Gluck, 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 gluck. I should be changing into Buri to talk to those guys. Hey, I've got a little secret. Oh yeah? What's that? There's a secret hole in the inn, and behind it there's a secret lab! Oh! Since I find you cute, I'll give the code to you, baby girl. Oh, oh, not even my previous owner realized it. Anyway, the code is 6282. T tell my owner I said, hi, nifty. Are you sure he's okay with you just giving that information away? Of course, think nothing of it. The door should be behind a stove oven. Yes, I found it by accident. Let's go. It's unlocked! Whoa! What's a place like this doing inside of this place? What the hell? How in blazes did you even get in here? Er, ah, uh, a little slime told me. Great! Damn it, this is why I wouldn't even let him inside the lab. Now it appears I cannot even trust him to be roaming around outside. It looks like I may have to lock him up forever. Uh, I don't think that's necessary. It was a joke. I don't condone uh, violence to slimes. However, he'd do well to keep his mouth closed. I'm a very busy bat with a huge queue. What kind of things do you do in here? That is absolutely none of your business. You are not allowed in here. This is my sanctuary. What the... What the hell is that smell? What? Oh, um... Is that what I think it is? Grayson uncovered your paper bag. Oh, cool. This guy is going to take it away. Hey, what are you? Er, I mean, yes, please get that thing away from me. Do you even know what this is? Aren't you the courier? Courier? 
No, I'm not! I don't even have the intention to find whoever was looking for it. What? You weren't given instructions or anything? My goddess, no wonder it took this long to get here. Either way, this is great! I can finally cross this off my queue! This carries a hunk of tissue that belongs to a now extinct beast. Wow! So that's why it smells horrible. Yes, well, obviously, there was not much of an attempt to preserve the tissue. But not to worry, this is a special sort of tissue that never truly decomposes. My science team pals at Physican have probably been itching severely for me to begin research on this. Science team? In Physican? If the research and conversion goes well on my part, they can potentially revive this beast. So they probably want to use it in the arena then. I'm not sure. Either way, I just want to get it over with already. Hey, come on over later, will ya? Since you bother bringing it over here, surely I can just you to bring it back to Physican. Ah, <sighs> fine. You know, I've exchanged like two different worthless items to get this. Do you know anything about that? A hairy lollipop and a jar of crap? No idea. But if I had to guess, they wanted the exchange to be as inconspicuous as possible. That's stupid. Hey, don't yell at me about it. I was never involved in planning that. See you later, and thanks! Oh la 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 I haven't finished research yet. Come back later. Well, then why don't you equip the research implant? Where are other slimes? Is there one in here? Yeah. Hello there. Ah, uh, what's the matter? My master does not understand me. He thinks that I want to go out for walks every few hours. But all I want to do is stay inside all day. I know that feeling of being misunderstood. My masters have never realized I am a girl. You are a female? Your aroma is kind of strange. I guess I really am pretty different. Ouch! Hey, don't sweat it. As long as my master continues to love me, I'm happy. I guess you're right about that. La 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 Where was the other slime? He was in the restaurant. Please, just one more nut. I must have... Okay, that was great. That was just great. Here is the weapon store. A slime! My owner keeps talking about how he wants to go out and fight evil. I can't do that. I'm too cowardly. I'm way too poor to afford any of this. It's all a recent shipment from the Cannon Guild. They must be overstocked to provide us with these powerful weapons. Weapons or armor? Choose your pick! I think it's take your pick. Oh, I can afford... Well, that's the one I really want. Maybe I will save up for it. Darn it, I already wasted too much money. Probably have shit I can sell, though. Uh. Okay, nothing else to see in this town. Guess we're ready to go see Crete. There he is! Whoa, actually took me a few seconds to believe it as you came through the door. Crete, you're still stuck here, I see. Indeed, this is my calling, don't you know? How have you been, Shade? It has been a while. It definitely does feel like a ton of time has passed, but I've been doing good. I guess. I'm curious as to why you and your friends have come here so suddenly. That's a bit of a thing. I have an arch nemesis on my tail right now. An arch nemesis? 
Yeah, he's nasty. And a scumbag. You've got quite the band of people with you, it looks like. I recognize you, Chinook, and you, Dick. But all the rest of you guys, not really. No offense. None taken. I'm Marina. I met Shade on Island Cividia. I am Joseph. Joseph of Zettel. Zettel? Never heard of that place. Regardless, it's nice to meet you too. And who would this be? He's Sirocco. He doesn't talk for anybody. Well, maybe for his parents, but yeah. Oh? Where does he hail from? He's actually Zephyr's son. Zephyr? You're kidding! Nope, Zephyr's been helping us a lot recently. Sirocco's been cooped up for a while and he just wants him to spread his wings for a while. Understandable. Once again, it's great to meet you all. I'm sure you're out there kicking tail like always. Yeah, I don't think we can stay for very long though. I expected that. I, uh, do want to know about what's going on here. Uh, supposedly there are owls causing you guys trouble. Yes, supposedly. They're perched up in the northern section of the Richwood Forest. We've been able to hold them off thanks to the soldiers that have been sent our way. This order of sound. It's really impressive. We may have a chance against the factions after all. Say, would you be willing to give us a hand? With what? It's simple. Right now the mission is to push the owls back so that we can retake a good portion of the forest. We've been able to hold them off for now, but I suspect that the reason they have not given us their all yet is for another reason. What do you mean? They could probably push us back anytime they want to. They certainly have the capabilities. The thing is, we're currently holding a couple of very important people, apparently. Cacti and Mog? Damn! I almost forgot to ask about them! Cacti and Mog? No shade. These are two owls that I'm talking about. Well, did you take in a cactus thing and a white creature after we landed? Oh yes, we did. They gave us a bit of a scare. Thought they were regular monsters. They're in holding as well. Whew. Well, these two owls, who are they? One of them is the Owl Prince himself, Orestes. <gasps> we haven't heard from him for a while. The other is a known engineer and herbalist. What? How did you manage to get them? Quite simple, really. They just came to us. And what did you do with them? Dick? They're in holding, just like the strange monster duo. That's it? You don't suspect them of anything? Of course I do. I don't like this at all, but keeping them here yields great advantages to us. <coughs> it is because of them that Stonehold is not yet invaded. Humph. They should all be put down, every last one of them. Damn, Dick! That time will come. We have yet to really speak to them. You all came at an, a very opportune time. I suppose we can accomplish that now. Will you accompany me? I will! Excellent! Oh, and about your arch nemesis. We'll defend you all against them if they come around. Don't worry. Hmm? Oh, um, well, just keep your guard up. He isn't some pushover. I understand. I'll be waiting close to the docks. It's wonderful to see you guys again. Crete is currently out interacting with some of the soldiers that came in. Sorry if you're looking for him. Uh, that's not exactly accurate. He just walked out in front of me. I never knew Crete to be the kind to appreciate wildlife. I didn't think he'd have enough time to care for a slime. Ah. Okay, where the hell am I going now? <coughs> We're going to some sort of holding cell? Where's that? Is that here? You ready? Let's save first. 
because you never know. You ready? Let's do this then. All up in your ass. Who are you? Inventory's looking good so far, but it's getting harder to keep track with all the supplies constantly coming in. Hmm, maybe I should turn the paper so I'm facing the long side, otherwise it look like I'm doing nothing, which is actually which is what I'm doing. Ha ha ha. Oh. Can we rattle the bars? That's overwhelmed that I've wound up randomly walking around. That's some RPG humor. Alright, here we are. Don't be too afraid to get close to the gate. It's well reinforced. It's okay. I'm not worried about that. Hey, bird brains! You've got a visitor and it isn't one of yours. Huh. Hey, hey! Is that you again? I'm getting impatient. Give me back my damn cape, you mongrels. I will spare everyone in this dumb village if you give it back. Think about that. Hey, is anyone even listening? Yeah, yeah, pipe down, will ya? You two are not going anywhere until Shade gives the okay. Shade? Shade, are you in on this? I wouldn't be surprised at all. This is unjust. This is poppycock. I demand my cape. Uh, let's not waste any more time. Here, take my place, Shade. Ask them whatever you want. I trust you can get something out of them. <laughs> you must be Shade Silverwing, then. I am. Guess I can't say I'm taken back by you knowing who I am. Everyone knows who you are by now. Over at home, people shiver at the mere mention of your name. Damn, Shady. It must feel great to have a name that people actually fear. In all honesty, you birds should be fearing my name a little more than this runts. Janok, quiet. Okay. So, who are you two exactly? You seem to be pretty important for the owls to have backed off. I am Prince Orestes. And this is my friend Boris, who is also our engineer. Prince? Engineer? Yes, we gave ourselves up to buy the bats here some time, but we did not expect you to turn up in the fur. In fact, this is perfect. I can't state how well this is all coming together. Why you gave yourself up? Why exactly did you give yourself up? That is incredibly fishy to me. Yeah, it is. And don't you dare try to lie to us, Featherhead. Or there will be consequences for all of you. I understand why you feel perplexed by this, but it's really quite simple. I don't support the ideals of both my father and my uncle, Boreal and Brutus. The restrictions we've placed on you bats are far too extreme. And they want to go even further now that you've attacked the Xenos. They want to close the skies to you. They want to enslave you all. What the hell? For so many years we've held on to this grudge and looking down the line I don't feel they'll be changing their minds. They even want to take my rightful place to the throne because of my outlook on bats in general. By now, everyone knows my perspectives and are making sure that I do not rule over the kingdom. I'm his only supporter. It's awesome. Number one fan. No, Boris, it isn't awesome. But do you at least appreciate me? Of course I do. Why exactly do you turn against your own people for us? Well, to be honest, I'm interested in your culture. I also believe that all races deserve to be treated as equals. My father's intentions are absolutely cruel. Slavery? Destruction? It's all a heinous crime. Do you know how your people are laid out up in Richmond, Richwood? What are their plans and how are they going to carry them out? Right now they seem to be oriented towards the rightmost sections of the forest. 
They also have partial control over the northern sections as well. Last I heard from your green-haired friend is that they want to negotiate. But I feel this is a trap. Luckily, he hasn't engaged in it. As long as I'm here, it should buy you all enough time to think of how to strike back and strike back hard. You expect us to assault them? Well, now that you're here and... Uh, it hurts to wish for my own people to go through any sort of suffering. But it may be just what they need in order to see things clearly from my point of view. You said your friend Boris is an engineer. What was he involved in? Well, he... hey -oh! Nice to meet you, Shade Silverwing and company. My name is Boris, and I've been involved with the creations of the death machines you have likely seen by now. You sound awfully proud of that. Oh no, Shade, it's nothing. You proud? You bet I'm proud of this. Now, oh, am I proud of these machines actually being used to kill you guys? No, not really. I built them simply to have a bigger and better means to defend my people. And because the cannon offered a high enough price to get their hands on them. So that's why they're equipped with all that gear. Don't get me wrong, they have plenty of able bodies themselves, but I'm definitely the brains behind the original plans. I guess with all the distribution, it isn't very surprising, to say the least, that they turned to them in order to attack you bats. But it's strange, because these machines were far from being completed. I had to yet to do research to iron out all of the weaknesses. It's regrettable that these machines had to be created, but my father practically forced him to do so. Okay, those are all the choices. What do you mean all this is coming together? You guys being here, of course. I've heard tales of how you swept through squads and platoons of cannon and Zeno. The latest story going around entails you've actually destroyed their base up at Physican. Well, that's somewhat true, I guess. General Sia destroyed the base herself. I see. Well, look, Shade. My people are up in Richmond right now, but they have other plans and motions as well. By now, it's safe to say they are already on their way to destroy Treehaven. Tuh! Treehaven? That's crap! That is our nursery roost! I'm sorry, but according to my father's plans, that is what they intend to do. To back them up, they brought along a massive line of hazard wasps. I suspect you know what those are, considering you've been to the cannon base. I made that too! It wasn't even a prototype when I submitted it. I guess they really could handle doing the tweaks and final touch-ups. But since you defeated one or some, it is clear they have overlooked a lot of steps. Meaning? The wasps, I feel, still have a major weakness. They cannot handle the corrosive properties of Tau. Not many know about this material, so that is merely an educated guess. Oh, Joseph? It looks like we aren't the only ones who know about Tau. So many people in the world, it was only a matter of time. Oh, we've known about it for quite a while. You might remember the cannon's attack on Pilvin area. Well, we got some first-hand experience. Oh, I'm sorry. But anyway, there was a reason that they wanted to annihilate everyone there. They wanted to take it over and ex excavate the mines further. One of the cannon's goals is to take over every single vein of Tau in the world. I personally find that humorous. That's far too much of a lengthy goal, they, but they do need more of it for research purposes. Aside from the wasps, they're also using another large, larger prototype called the Vile Viscerator. Can't wait to fight that. I made that too! Boris! Luckily for you guys, I don't think they've found a way to bypass the Tau weakness that just yet. So long as, as you have some, the machine shouldn't pose as much as a big problem. But I still think that is the biggest threat just because Tau is difficult to come by. We'll keep that in mind. Shade, time is running out for your nursery roost. Do you know of the Cannon Guild? I do. They've disguised themselves as Southern Cannon once to get their hands on some of our technology. 
They purchased a cannon that Boris made a long time ago. I'm not sure what the condition of it is right now, but there are too many wasps. Something like that would be invaluable in this situation. I would really hope they've taken good care of it. I nearly lost a wing working on that beast. Hmm, that's pretty convenient, but how are we going to get that over here before they launch the assault? I don't know, but it's definitely the best chance you got in preventing this. Shade, the ETP. What? We must find a way to get back to Caliban's and bring the ETP over to the Cannon Guild. That would be an incredibly long trip. I've sensed one of those portal stars nearby. We should look out for one of those and see if it's around the town or any place nearby. Perhaps we can check the surrounding forests as well. Uh, I think I know what you're talking about. I can sense something like it as well. Great, so we all have a plan. Shade, don't worry about us, but if I may, I want to request something from you. What is it? <coughs> Please don't kill my father or my uncle. Well, then how exactly do you want me to proceed? Just put fear into their hearts. You should definitely destroy those machines also. I think we have the means, but I'll try to honor your request. Thank you. I never thought I could count on a bat, but I always knew you were different. Not the unruly rat my dad always called you. Scene number two. You're making a big mistake keeping me in here. Just ask Shade over there. He knows I nearly beat his furry butt into the ground. Ah, oh, hello, Shade. Are you finished? It's have you finished. Have you finished. Yeah, we've also got a bunch of info for you. We've also got to head out soon. I'll tell you all about it shortly, but could I speak to Cacti real quick? No problem, just don't get too close. He is threatening me with his prickly needles. What in Pink Cushion's name are you doing, Shade? Are you going to get me out of this dump or what? No! You guys are safe here, and Crete is going to look after you and the owls. We're going to help Stone hold out. It might turn out to be a long, bloody battle, so I need you guys to be safe. When it's over, we'll do some research into portals and try to get you two out of here. About time. Hey, what about Phoenix? Damn. I really don't know Cacti. I don't know where he is, but I know Goth has him. Well, we aren't leaving until we have him back with us. We'll try to find him, but I can't make any promises. Remember that if Goth gets his hands on you, things will turn bad. He wouldn't even touch me. Nobody likes needles, friendo. We'll be back. Just stay put. Ah, uh, I can't believe this. <coughs> We're straight. What's the lowdown? Oh, good, he's gonna fade out and... I thought he was gonna repeat the entire conversation he just had. That sounds complex and terribly alarming. Shade, it seems unlikely we'll stop them in time at this rate. Maybe, but right now it's hard to tell. Crete, what I need you to do is try to get in touch with the Owl General or whoever and tell them to stop their siege on Treehaven. The fact that you have the King's Son should still be a thing for them to be cautious about. Bluff and tell him you'll tear his wings off or something. But don't do it, of course. Will do. Just keep me updated on how things are going, yeah? Explode! First things first, we have to look for a poor star around Stonehold in the surrounding area. Can't forget about the forest either. It should be near. We didn't get any experience or any money from that whole thing. Let's see, do they let us out this way now? Not yet, I guess we go north. Richwood Forest. Hey, it's some guys. Sorry, but you cannot cross this area. The lands up ahead have been taken over by the owls. 
Watch yourself around these parts. Monsters shouldn't be what you're worried about in this zone. Ah. Oh, here's where we pick up the firewood. It's curious that there are no monsters here. How many firewoods am I picking up? More Bushido armor. That's great. <coughs> oh, for a second I thought we were doing random battles, and I was like, why? Don't worry, citizen. We've made sure to clear this sector of the forest of enemies. You can never be too careful, though. Be safe. Well, that was cute. What with using... the battle system. Oh, I should be doing that to the torches as I go. A chest! I got Dell's Touch. I found firewood! I got some wings! No, not honey garlic wings. Not sweet teriyaki wings. Not barbecue wings. That means we're going to have to go back and ask for his key. How tedious. Can't I lock it? Can't I pick it? Why don't I want to... Why do I want to go in there? Did I miss something? Oh, 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 oh. Caillou, you are grounded, 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 grounded. For seven one one six seven six seven eight eight nine seven six one three one seven three zero two two nine four four eight seven six one years. Okay, the music resets every time I come back into this area, and it makes me think that something is about to happen. I'm like, oh no. Is something about to happen? You know what's funny? Those things where they take animated GIFs and then they make a comic about them. Which kind of explains how the circumstances of the GIF come about. And then at the very end of the comic they put in the GIF as the last panel. And it's basically context. It creates context. You finished? Yes. Can't find any more that I had to tend to. Alright, please don't take offense to this, but I just want to walk around the perimeter and make sure you actually did it. No offense taken. I'll be right back. I guess I did get them all. You stayed true to your word. Thanks a bunch. You even lit them all. How very nice of you. It's no big deal. Well, here, take your reward. You've earned it. 2,000 wings. Side quest completed. Parties received experience. Shade got better. Dick, Joseph, everybody. Okay, I wonder if I can afford the Big Lips weapon for Shade now. Okay, shithead, move. Move out of the way. Turn around. Take a step. Come on. Back up. There you go. 
There you go. Oh, I still can't afford it. Oh, damn it. I need... 230 more wings to afford 7th Heaven. Oh well. Well, I have a feeling we're on the cusp of a tipping point here and it's about to start something. But this episode has gone on for a while. Really, we didn't do anything but putter around stone holes, but... Oh well, I guess we had some long scenes, uh, and we took care of a whole bunch of side quest material too, and we also discovered this cave, which we shouldn't have. <laughs>